Hello guys, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Now I am back with another Tales of Rain Ravine demo gameplay. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between the horses Milo and Spot. So we're going to do your set, so let's head to the menu. So, there is a few differences between Milo and Spot I've noticed when I've been riding the horses. Milo is a very old horse. He's 23 years old. 160 centimeters, so he's almost as like mid tall like me. He's kind of tall as me, and he can only jump max 90 centimeters. So we're gonna try this fury. I want to see if he can jump higher than 90, but yeah, I don't think he can. But he is really slow in turning. He's really slow in speed, and he is a very calm horse. I actually love Milo. I don't like that he's slow in turning, but I like that he's calm because I can really anticipate with the realistic jumping it's much easier with milo so i recommend highly starting with milo first if you want to try the realistic jumping because then you can kind of get a feel what the pace works and not so and spot is actually very feisty uh, spot he is a 12 year old 168 centimeters so he is a little taller than milo and he has a max jump squad 120 centimeters so you can jump pretty high well, 30 centimeters higher than Milo, and he's turning his normal, so he's way faster than my, no, Milo, to be honest. And his speed is really fast, and the trait he is milled. The funny thing is that I don't think he's milled. Like, Spot is not a milled horse. He, he's very, like, feisty, in my opinion. And imagine Rose here is hot blooded, so I, I cannot wait to see what she is gonna be like. Um, yeah. But Spot to me is actually, he's. He can he, you can take him back if he's too feisty, but he is a very really different. So we're gonna go into the game and check them out different ways. So let's go. So we are in the riding arena. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the board. This um, demo is free for patrons right now, but it's gonna be out in Mars if you guys didn't know that. So you don't have to wait long. So we're gonna choose a course, and I'm gonna pick um, let's say the second course. Yeah, take a second course. This is a good course. So, if you go close to these jumps, Milo is a slow turner, but you can see he put his head up and he's ready to jump. And he jumps. That was because I was really slow, but let's see how tall these jumps are. Because I'm not sure how tall these guys are. And if you knock down a pole, it comes back up. But hold on. Woo. It's 80 centimeters. Miles max is 90. So, he can jump these without a problem. So, let's go around again and try again. I have realistic jumping on as well, so I gotta... There we go. <laughs> I gotta speed up. But I highly recommend Milo so you get a feeling about the realistic jumping. Spot, he likes to take off. When he sees a jump, he goes for it. He's like, he's like I wanna do this. That was my fault. So let's see, hold on. So you gotta really enter to say, okay, when should I speed up? When should I not speed up? When I first played this vid game, uh, if you didn't check out the last video, please do if you feel like it. But when I checked out that, I chose to pick Milo first because he is an older horse. He is more stable. And I just wanted to get a feel how things were before I did anything else. So I could easily slow down here and to get the perfect jump. And yes, I do have realistic jumping on right now. It's on right now. So I've actually started to learn how to do this with the laser jumping. It's just with Spot, it's harder because Spot he takes off. Milo doesn't. Uh, Milo just waits for me to give commands to do something. One, two, three. I could easily do four strides there. But anyhow, you've seen a little how Milo is. Milo turns really slow. I'm really trying to steer. This is me doing a trot circle with both legs and reins. So it's a little interesting. But Milo is really stable. So the theory is can he jump higher than 90? Because his max height is 90 centimeters, it says in his profile. So we're gonna go ahead and raise these jumps. Yes, you can raise high jumps. Okay. My bad. Sorry, Milo. So this is 90. This is 100. So we're gonna keep this at 100 and raise this one to 90. There we go. I'm getting the hang of the steering, like the different leg juices. It's really complicated. Like, this turn is gonna be sharp. Ooh. Okay. Let's try this. 
one, two. Yeah, it says Milo cannot jump this high. So right away it says he cannot jump this. It's too high for him, poor guy. So he cannot jump that. So that's very interesting. I didn't know that was a thing that he would exactly totally refuse. Like I can't jump this. It's too high. I like the fact that Milo is a good beginner horse. I highly recommend using Milo in the beginning. To just get a feeling of the realistic jumping if you want to try that out. Yeah. I want to try a different course with Milo as well. The third course is the hardest course in my opinion. Because there's a lot of different uh, jumps and everything. So, Because I want you guys to see all of the potential. So this is a little different. Here, uh, spot is very difficult. Milo is not. It's just a little... Uh, that was my fault. That wasn't Milo's fault. Uh, you say, don't blame the horse, blame the rider. That was actually my fault. Um, I should have had a higher speed or slower. I can't really determine. Hold on, let's see. This is actually really high for Milo, I think. One. Slow down. One. One. There we go. That was way better. Good job, Milo. So, Milo is easier there than actually Spot is. Because Spot is taking off right after the first jump. And it's really difficult to hold back. Yeah, slow down a lot. Spot will just, see ya, I'm gonna see you in the next life, bye. And just uh, make me do that. So, Milo doesn't. Milo is a good horse. And he's actually, I like Milo the most, although he looks really nice. I like bay horses, I don't know why I do. But yeah, that's gonna be it for Milo. I highly recommend him, when you start playing, ride this horse first. Because he will teach you a lot about the realistic jumping and everything. So, before you move on to a little harder horse at uh, spots. So, let's go and try spot out. So, we're gonna take spots and... Um, Spot looks really good. He is such a good looking horse. Just look at him. He looks so fancy. Uh, Spot is... Well, I'm gonna do the turning thing like I did with Milo. So, he is turning way easier. Just look at that. He's faster turning. So that's for sure. So let's pick a course. And you're gonna notice a difference right away because Spot takes off right away like when he sees a jump he's just at it so um i'm not touching the keyboard uh, when he does this so i'm gonna promise you i'm not so when he lines up to a jump he's gonna be at it hold on wait a second Th see 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 he just speeds up on his own right away and just dash up into the infinity and beyond <laughs> so that's the catch with the uh, spot he is really hot so you gotta hold him back a lot or let him loose and um, in some occasions letting him loose doesn't work because if you're in combinations he's just gonna see ya i don't want to be here i'm just gonna take off but spot is a really good horse when you get a hang of uh, how the realistic jumping works and what speed and the strides to have in the jumps you kind of get a hang of it when you're jumping single jumps is pretty easy and he's such a good, gorgeous horse. I just let him go. There, I didn't do anything. I just let him go. Somehow he actually finds the striding himself when he does uh, single jumps. That was all him. There, I had to slow him down because it was going way too sharp. So he can actually find things himself in these occasions. So if I line him up here, let's see if I have to do anything at all. No. I did not need to do anything that he did all by himself. I just jumped. So, in some occasions, it's really good, I guess, with the um, speed up sessions because they do line up usually pretty well on its own. So, it's very different. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna say the same thing. If I pick a course and I made the jump third and I raised them to 130 or something, I don't think spots, spots cannot make that jump. Uh, obviously, because Spot can only jump 120. Now, this is the combination I had promised. If you saw the video I made about this game, the first one, uh, a few days ago, 
I did this combination. You have no idea how much you cut out. I did this combination like for 10 minutes. 10, 10 freaking minutes. Okay, I did this combination and I failed so many times. I had a spot for this, I think, when I used this. So I think I'm better now, but I can't tell if I am. Hold on, hold. I do know what I'm doing wrong now because I am not holding him back fast enough. So he is doing a good input, but I need to turn him around like fast, like uh, hold him back, like already here and already here and here. So I know what I did wrong when I did that video. Now I figure out what to do. In the beginning, I forgot to like hold back like really early. So he just, bye, see ya. And when you're going really slow, you knock down the poles and yeah, this happens. So I did it from this way. I should have done it from the other way from the beginning. So if I'm doing it from this way, it should be a little easier for me, I think. Yeah, that was way easier to do it on that side. So the other side was a little difficult for me, in particular. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That was supposed to be four strides. That was like three and a half. So, um, let's do that again, Spot. Come on. I really like the horse models. They just need some work with animations. Otherwise, in that, it's pretty fine to me. Let's slow down. One, two, three, four. I had to slow down a tiny bit, otherwise he would stop again. But when he puts his head up, like uh, like Milo does, he is ready to be able to face the jump. So right here, he speeds up. As soon as he puts his head up, he's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So he's really forward. There we actually had to push him on a little bit. I, I love forward horses normally, but... um. Milo was a good teacher for me, and Spot was good to like brand out my knowledge of what I learned in the game so far. So I can't wait to see more of this game, what they're gonna do and such. But yeah, so the difference between Milo and Spot is pretty obvious. Oh, he went from a trot to a canter from that. I didn't know that he would do that. Hold on. I've never seen that, that he went from a trot to a canter. I, I really didn't know that was a thing. Hmm, interesting. But the difference between Milo and Spot are pretty obvious. Milo is a much calmer and slower horse, which uh, Spot is a little more feisty. So, it's probably what you prefer. I really like the look of Spot. Lo Spot looks great. I love the colors and I love the personality. He has a good mix of personality. But for me, Milo was very good when I started. I love Milo. Milo looks good too. So I'm kind of interested to see how um, the third horse is going to be Rose, the mare, because she is supposed to be hot tempered. So really excited to see this. We're going to do this combination one last time and see if I can do it flawlessly. So let's see. And I did. Ha ha. And not too bad after all. I wish you could zoom in. Like, you have to do this. <laughs> and uh, what do you guys think? Which one is your favorite horse? If I had to pick between Spot and Milo, I actually like Milo more because even if he jumps not as high as Spot, Milo is easier to control and like, I can really pick. I barely had any refusals with Milo. Spot was way more because Spot is a little more. You can never protect how fast he's gonna go or how much I can slow him down in time. But yeah, let me know if you want to see any more kinds of videos in this game. At the moment, it's not that much. It's just this arena with jumps. But let me know if there's anything you want to see. But I really enjoy this game and I'm so looking forward to seeing more. But now, don't forget to check out uh, uh, the Tales of Rain and Veen as well on uh, their YouTube channel and TikTok. I think she has a TikTok as well. And I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye, y'all. I wish I could read or something, but I cannot, so my character is just bouncing up and down. Thanks for watching, anyway. <laughs> Bye, everybody.